Namaste Ganesh ji. So welcome all. Today we are going to go through lecture number five, uh, happiness and prosperity. Although we have already discussed quite a bit about happiness and prosperity, uh, we'll discuss about the current scenario and some analysis of that and a few questions which are related to that. Till now we have been talking about the basic human aspiration and we identified it as happiness, prosperity and its continuity. <clears throat> and particularly we were trying to expand on this continuous happiness. So <clears throat> we can see that every human being aspires for continuous happiness. And once we identify that what we aspire for is continuous happiness and not just the momentary happiness, right? then we can see that the program that we decide for ensuring this depends upon whatever we have understood or assumed about it. So if you think that big house will give us happiness, then we are trying to work for big houses. If you think lots of money will give us happiness, then we are you know, accumulating lot of money. Similarly, tasty food and you know, loud music and fast car and all these things, right? Then attention, name, fame rewards, you know. So whatever we think will give us happiness, that becomes our program for ensuring happiness. But the interesting thing that we find in this whole process is that we keep shifting from one program to another program. Right. When one program is not shift successful, you shift to the other program. Even when one program is successful, Right. You find that it is not leading to continuity of happiness. So you shift to another program. So you keep shifting from one program to the other program. You know, this is what is happening. So at the base, there is a need for continuous happiness. But we have made programs which is not leading to continuity of happiness. Either the program itself is not successful or even if it is successful, it is not leading to continuity of happiness. So we are stuck. Right? So what we intend to do in this lecture today is to try understanding as to what is happening. Why we have been making so many programs for ensuring continuity of happiness. But every time we fail, when the program is successful, we fail. When the program is unsuccessful, anyway, we fail, right? So this is what is happening. Okay. So let's un try to understand you know, what is our basic aspiration as continuous happiness and what we are doing as a program and what needs to be the program for ensuring continuity of happiness. Right? So what is the possible program by which we can ensure this continuity of happiness. So let us look at this. Now, what we have talked about in lecture four is that if we want to ensure continuity of happiness, the basic source for this is going to be right understanding in this self. That is understanding of the harmony harmony at all levels of our being, starting from individual to family, to society, to nature and existence. And once we have this understanding of harmony, we have to have this feeling and thought of harmony in the self. And if we have this feeling of harmony within, which is naturally acceptable to us, We'll be in a state of harmony within and state of happiness within. 
and if we can ensure that we have understood this harmony and we have this feeling of harmony within us every moment then we can be in a state of harmony within and therefore in a state of happiness within every moment in continuity so the source of happiness the source of continuous happiness is to ensure understanding of harmony at all levels of our being and having this feeling this thought of harmony <clears throat> at all levels of our being so if we have the understanding of harmony and if we have the feeling and thought of harmony within within the self then we will be in a state of harmony within every moment and therefore in a state of happiness every moment so we can be in a state of continuous happiness so this is the program for ensuring continuity of happiness so this is what we have briefly talked about in lecture 4 and this is something now we have to start working on and keep verifying whether this holds good or it does not hold good so this seems to be the possible program i will say this is a possible program in the sense that for us it is a proposal which we have to verify we have to see for ourselves whether it really works or it does not but it is a proposal and a good proposal to begin with so this is what we are proposing as a source of continuous happiness a program which can ensure continuity of happiness and this is something which each one of us has to verify that when we have the understanding of harmony we feel you know comfortable within when we have this feeling of harmony then we are comfortable within we are in a state of happiness within so you can take this example that if you look at family you know if you look at the harmony in family you will see as we go along what is fundamental to feeling the harmony in family is the feeling feeling in relationship so there is this relationship in the family and there is that there are feelings in relationship for example the feeling of trust feeling of respect feeling of affection these feelings we can identify and we can see that when we have this feeling ourselves it is naturally acceptable to us when we share this feeling with others it is also naturally acceptable to the other so when we are living with other family members with this feeling of respect every moment then we are in a state of harmony within because this is a feeling which is naturally acceptable to us so we are in a state of harmony within and therefore we are in a state of happiness within and if we share this feeling with the other this feeling of respect for example with the other the other also has a natural acceptance for this and therefore he also feels that harmony within and therefore he also is in a state of happiness within so this feeling of respect in the relationship in the family leads to my happiness and happiness of the other now if i look at myself now and if i can ensure having this feeling of respect for everyone and every moment then i am all the time having a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me and this feeling leads to a state of harmony within and a state of happiness within every moment similarly you know i can look see this for feeling of affection and feeling of care and so on ultimately leading to the feeling of love where i feel related to everyone so if i have that feeling of being related to everyone then i can be with this feeling every moment for everyone and this feeling will lead to a state of harmony and happiness within so i can be 
in a state of harmony and happiness every moment. So like that, we, like that we'll see that at all levels of our being, starting from individual to family to society and so on, if we can ensure this, you know, understanding the harmony and having this feeling of harmony every moment, we can ensure continuity of happiness. But this is something which we have to verify. Now, what we are doing today, you know, if you look at this aloe box, this is what it is proposing, that we can ensure continuity of happiness through right understanding and right feeling. And both these things are to take place in this self. On the other hand, the program that we have been following, you know, and most of us have been following, I would not say all of us, but most of us have been following, is that we see two possible sources, two possible sources of happiness. One is getting happiness through sensation. And this sensation comes when we have the contact of some physical facility with the body. For example, if I'm eating some food, and that food comes in contact with the tongue, then there is some taste, right? And if that taste is something which I happen to like, then I feel happy. Similarly, if I happen to like some touch, and if that touch is, you know, received from the sensation in the body, which is there when I have this contact of some physical thing with my body, you know, like a soft cloth. So this touch is something of my liking. And if I get that touch as a sensation from the body, which is obtained when some physical thing comes in contact with the body, or for example, you know, the air condition temperature of 21 degrees centigrade. Right? So this air conditioner, what it is, giving is a touch to the body of a temperature of the environment, which is liked by me. So this is one possible source of happiness that we are looking for through sensation, right? which comes in you know, through the body when some physical facility comes in contact with the body. This is one possible source that we are looking for, for ensuring happiness. Now look at yourself and find out whether this is one of the major source for you for happiness, through, you know, for ensuring happiness or not. And when you are looking at this, look at all these five senses of sound, touch, form, taste and smell. Are you looking for happiness through these five senses? And to obtain those five senses, are you trying to work out different ways and means to have physical facility, which when comes in contact with the body, will have this sensation? So we look for tasty food. We look for light, you know, forms beside which are of our liking. We search for touch, which we think, you know, is our of our liking. We smell sound, the music, all this is trying to get the favorable sensation and favorable means what I have considered to be favorable. Why, whatever I happen to like. So most of our engagement today would relate to this. So we are busy cooking tasty food and for that, we are busy trying to earn a lot of money 
buy different you know items of food and prepare and spend time on this and then eat this is what we are doing most of us so we are going for a sightseeing <clears throat> right so so much of it now is being talked about you know that if you have developed we have to go to these places you know, tourist places and enjoy the sight and if you have more money you have to go abroad and enjoy yourself but that enjoying yourself essentially means that you should be able to see those sights which you think are of your liking <clears throat> so this is one possible source that we have been working on whether it is true or not is something which you can really verify the other possible source of happiness is trying to get some favorable feeling from the other so rather than ensuring the right feeling in myself and sharing with others our focus is on getting the right feeling from the other so getting respect from the other you know the name the fame we keep trying ways you know to ensure that others are you know affect you know has affection for have affection for me they trust me <laughs> they love me you know they care for me now this feeling is what i am looking from the other and when i happen to get that feeling right i feel happy if i don't get that feeling i feel unhappy so this is another source of happiness people are doing so much to get name get fame you know get respect they are willing to climb up the himalayas <clears throat> they are willing to you know spend money <coughs> to get name <coughs> so all this is happening they are trying to break the world records because they want to get name they want to get fame they want to get some reward in my world so this is what is happening these two possible sources are there for us to get happiness one is getting happiness through sensation getting the favorable you know sensation through the body and the other is getting the favorable feelings from the other human being now is this the source for us if this is the source for us then there is problem the problem is what we have written down there with red you know this thing if you are working for sensation and getting happiness through sensation the problem is that this sensation is temporary in nature this is temporary in nature so you have some food tasty food you have cooked right and you are eating that food but you cannot eat it continuously right the food will be finished so it is temporary in nature and it depends on the body it depends upon the other physical facility so that dependence is there so if your body falls sick the same food you cannot enjoy it is no more tasty so it is depending on the body it is depending upon the other physical facility and so on and another interesting point is that it has no completion point you can never say that this much of tasty food will ensure continuity of happiness so there is no completion point defined and if you put all this together the conclusion is that this cannot be the source of continuous happiness 
this cannot be the source of continuous happiness. This you can try, you know, this what we have written down below this, you know, and we can expand this, you know, that if you work with any sensation, it seems to be tasty and necessary to begin with. After some time, it becomes unnecessary because when your stomach is full, for example, you are eating sweets of your liking. In the beginning, it will be tasty and it will be necessary for the body, for nurturing the body. But when your stomach is full, now you realize that it is no more necessary. But if you find tasty, you continue to eat. So it is tasty and unnecessary. But if it is full up to the neck, right? Now it is neither necessary nor tasty. So it, you lose the taste. You don't want to eat anymore. But if somebody is forcing you to eat, then of course it is unnecessary and it is intolerable. So these are the four steps you go through. You know. Initially, the sensation is tasty and necessary. After some time, your stomach is full. It is tasty, but not necessary. After some time, you lose the taste. So it is tasteless and unnecessary. And if now somebody is forcing you to eat, it becomes intolerant. So any sensation that you, you know, consider as the source of happiness is going to go through this stage. So instead of becoming the source of continuous happiness, it will become source of unhappiness for you after some time. And this is the reason why, you know, we are so much in trouble. You know, if you don't have enough money, if you don't have enough sweet to eat, you think that you will get happiness and continuity of happiness if you have enough sweet to eat. But when you have enough sweet to eat, you realize that this cannot be the source of continuous happiness. And now you are in deeper trouble because at least previously you had the hope. Now you do not even have the hope that you will get continuity of happiness through this having a lot of sweets or for that matter, any physical facility. So there is no completion point. There is no possibility of continuity of happiness through sensation. And this you can you know, see through all the five senses. I have taken one example of test, but this you can see for all the senses. Right. Can we see this, uh, Rajulji, uh, this slide in a little expanded manner? <coughs> okay. We'll come back to this. The other is this, you know, uh, trying to get happiness through the feeling from the others. So I want to get respect from others and I'm trying all ways and means. I'm buying big house, you know, big car, right? wearing all kinds of fashion clothes, thinking that people will respect me. And if they respect me, this will lead to a state of happiness within. So this is also, you know, something which has this problem that it is temporary. So I go to a party with a very, you know, kind of fashion dress. Okay. And people look at me and say, oh, nice, you know, what a very good cloth. And that's it. Then they are busy with other things. So the respect that I got from the other was very temporary. And it can be temporary only. People have other things to do. So this is one problem. The other problem is that it depends on the other. It depends on the other. Right? So you have this dependency. So this other person, you know, may or may not pay attention to your dress, your new dress, which you have spent so much of time you know, earning money and buying and then wearing and all that, you know. So he may have, you know, may not have that concern for you and he might be busy with something else. So it depends on him. Now you can see, <clears throat> in fact, I keep asking these people that if you go 
to a party with an exclusive dress, right? your expectation is that it will generate a feeling of respect in others. Right? But what happens? Does it generate a feeling of respect or a feeling of jealousy? So you can see that you know most of the time it is generating a feeling of jealousy and which is going to be a source of unhappiness for you rather than source of happiness for you. So like that it depends on the other and of course it has no completion point because you do not know how much of respect will ensure continuity of happiness. And, you know, it cannot be the source of continuity of happiness. So all this put together, you can see that getting feeling from others and ensuring, trying to ensure, and ensure continuity of happiness does not work. So you have been working hard to get an award and you get an award. And that's it. For that moment, moment you feel happy. And after some time, you just forget about it. You don't even make mention of it. People also, you know, initially they will all greet you and all that. And then they will forget about it. So that cannot be the source of continuity of happiness. So this is the problem. This is where we are stuck. Can we see that? Then our program for ensuring continuity of happiness or our source of happiness today, most of us, you know, is to get happiness through sensation or to get happiness through the feeling from the other. And both this program has the problem that they are temporary in nature. We have dependence on outside, whether the body or the physical facility or the other human being. It has no completion point and it cannot be the source of continuity of happiness. Can we see this? So if this is the source of happiness that we are working for, then we are stuck. We are bound to get into trouble. And that is how we have got into trouble. So look at this, look at these two things, you know, what has been the source of happiness for us or what is the source of happiness for us today and what could be the source of continuous happiness. What can be the source of continuous happiness? So this is the proposal that we have placed. And you can see for yourself whether, you know, the one which we are trying to work with presently whether it can ever be the source of happiness, continuous happiness. And does it lead to a state of Swatantrata, our self-organization, or does it lead to a state of dependency on the other, a slavery? So this is one thing that we wanted to uh, place for you to explore, to investigate. The other th important thing which we wanted to mention is that if we are not having this source of continuous happiness, you know, as right understanding and right feeling, and if we are trying to work to get this happiness through sensation or through getting the feeling from others, which is not successful, right? Then this is a problem, of course, but because of not getting this continuity of happiness, right, we might feel frustrated. We might feel depressed, right? And as a result, we can take to some escape from unhappiness. So what we are seeing here is black box you know, with white, you know, letters on it is that route that we, which we take of escape from unhappiness. So we want continuity of happiness, 
we are working for continuity of happiness through sensation and through getting the right feeling from others and it is not working. So we are in a state of unhappiness and we don't want to be with that state of unhappiness. So we are frustrated, we are depressed you know, and we are trying to run away from it. When you try to run away from it, this is what you do. You indulge in things like overeating, oversleeping. So even though you know that this food is no more giving, you know, ensuring health for us, but you go on eating, you become an obese, right? Or you go on listening to music. So this overeating, this oversleeping, over listening to music, all this starts happening. So this is one route that we take. The other route is that we take to something like, you know, alcohol, drugs, gutka, right? All these kind of addictions. So now we are stuck with this addiction. So we were unhappy because we were not able to ensure continuity of happiness through sensation or through getting feeling from others. So that scheme failed and we were unhappy about it. And now we are trying to escape from it. So we have taken to some addiction, either alcohol or drugs, or even things like overeating and oversleeping and things like that. So we are running from unhappiness. So now you can see we are in a kind of cycle, in a deep cycle of problem. On the one hand, we are working for temporary happiness, temporary excitement, even in, it's not even happiness, we'll see that. And we are not getting this continuity of happiness. So we are trying to run away from it. So we are getting into temporary escape from freedom. So we have temporary happiness, temporary excess, you know, excitement, and we are not satisfied with it. So we run away from it. When we run away from it, we get into some kind of addiction, some kind of you know, overeating, oversleeping and things like that. And there are problems there. So then we get rid of, you know, we are fed up with the problem. We want to run away from there. So there is a cycle from excitement to escape from unhappiness. So uh, happiness through excitement, through sensation and it doesn't work for continuity of happiness so we try to run away from this unhappiness state of unhappiness through addictions and things like that and then that also is not very satisfying so you try to come out of it right? so for some time you try to come out of it then you are back again because that is not the you know state of uh, it's not ensuring the continuity of feeling continuity of happiness so you keep on getting into this vicious cycle. But the remarkable point there is that in both these cases, we are living with animal consciousness. Either we are indulging into sensation of our liking and hoping to get this happiness, or we are trying to get, you know, escape from this unhappiness by way of indulging into something like this, overeating, oversleeping, or some other kind of addiction. So this is where the whole, you know, civilization today is. Not only individuals, but the civilization at large. There can be some exceptions, but they are not considered to be the mainstream people. There can be some exceptions in this civilization today who are not going by this, but these are considered an exception as not as the mainstream people. But the mainstream people is essentially trying to work, you know, with this animal consciousness and is, you know, vacillating between these two, trying to get happiness through sensation, you know, or through getting feeling from others or trying to run away from this unhappiness by way of taking to some escape routes, you know, some drugs, some addiction. 
so we can see whether we are here or we are able to move up to that level of human consciousness where we are working for right understanding that is understanding of the harmony and we are working for ensuring the right feeling that is feeling of harmony and therefore we are now slowly you know able to work for ensuring continuity of happiness within the self and not looking for it from outside in fact when we have the right feeling and right thought we share this with others so now on the one hand we are self organized we are in a state of swatantrata we are not dependent on others we are not being dictated by the others and on the other hand because we have the right feeling and the right thought the feeling of harmony and thought of harmony we are able to fulfill our relationship with things outside with a sense of responsibility so on the one hand we are not dependent on the other on the other hand we are responsible for the other so with right understanding and right feeling we are in a state of harmony within and with that state of harmony within we are in a state of happiness within and with this harmony and happiness within with this feeling and this thought of harmony we are now able to you know, work for the fulfillment of others so we have become responsible to relationship to things outside either human being or the rest of nature so now we can see whether we are where we are are we in this lower part of living with animal consciousness where we are trying to get happiness through sensation or through getting feeling from others or we are working for some escape from freedom by indulging into some kind of addiction whether this is where we are working or we are working for ensuring continuity of happiness through right understanding and right feeling through the understanding of harmony and having this feeling of harmony so as we said this feeling of harmony certainly includes this feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence so are we working to understand this harmony this relationship this coexistence and ensuring this feeling of harmony relationship and coexistence and thereby ensure our continuity of happiness or we are working for <clears throat> getting continuity of happiness through sensation through feeling from others or we are trying to run away from that state of unhappiness by way of getting into some addiction so if you look at the current scenario it can be evaluated in the light of this and this is what we expect you to do to work through this and find out where we stand find out where we stand uh, so we will uh, close here thank you very much okay thank you very much